I hope his mom doesn't come home and like fall on the steps running to the thing. Oh, oh, ow, 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 ow. Ow. Yeah, ow. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to Old Lady Reacts. I'm the old lady, otherwise known as Michelle. I'm a huge movie buff who has seen pretty much everything. I even worked at a video store for a few years, but it somehow skipped over an entire genre of movies. So I created this reaction channel where I react to action and superhero movies and TV shows that I'm viewing for the first time. It's Christmas time, so I've been reacting to a lot of holiday movies I've never seen before and was really dismayed about Jingle all the way. I thought it was really awful and like reductive and cliche um but it made me want to watch home alone again because it felt like what they were really going for was that like same slapstick feel that home alone had but that they missed the heart that's at the center of home alone so but then i was thinking like well i've only seen home alone once all the way through and it would have been when it first came out like 20 years ago so maybe i'm not remembering it correctly so i didn't think you guys would mind if i reacted to a movie I know I've already seen, but don't really remember that well. I'm excited because I know uh, Kieran Culkin shows up in it too, in a small role, um, who I'm a big fan of from Succession. Sidebar, get on Succession if you haven't already. So, so good. Oh my God. And of course, Catherine O'Hara plays the mom, who is, you know, legendary now because of all the Christopher Guest movies, but also recently from Schitt's Creek, who I adore. I have her next to me overlooking my endeavors, so... Yeah, one of the things I'm finding interesting, though, is this um, kind of love-hate relationship from, that a lot of people have with Christmas movies in the ratings on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, Die Hard is 94%. Makes sense. Nightmare Before Christmas, classic, amazing film. Another Catherine O'Hara uh, option. Uh, 95 and 91%. But Lethal Weapon is only at 80 and 86. White Christmas... 77 and 88 which is shocking to me because i absolutely adore that movie but it's older so i kind of get it and christmas vacation legendary holiday film is only at 71 and 86 percent like and then home alone is 66 and 80 percent so i'm not sure what to think about the list i found um because that put home alone at number 80 on the 100 best christmas movies uh, which, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem quite right. Like, this is kind of a classic, right? I don't know. We'll see. That's what I thought about Jingle All the Way, and I was <laughs> sorely mistaken. Um, but, yeah, the, the list puts Meet Me in St. Louis in the number one spot. And, like, th that's a great movie, but, uh, ugh, yeah. I've never been more triggered by a best of list <laughs> in my entire life. Carol is, for some reason, on this list and it's at number nine and the apartment is at number 12 like, they, they're not really christmas movies like what the hell so i won't go too deep into that list here but i don't think anyone who actually loves christmas movies actually looked at that list before it was published i think they just grabbed every movie they even remotely references christmas and just threw it on there it was it's just so weird and it's fairly new because the guardians holiday special is on there uh so yeah go figure I'll try to remember to put a link somewhere in the description or either up here if, if I remember, because you have to remember after you put it up on, on YouTube, you have to remember to add it. So yeah, you can look at it and be horrified along with me. So clearly what we've learned here is that Rotten Tomatoes cannot be trusted for your Christmas viewing. So just trust me, I'll give you a top 10 list if you want. So yeah, before we get started, please subscribe to my channel so you can see all of my holiday reactions this month and come along with me as I finally get caught up on the, with the MCU. Yay! All right, let's dive into Home Alone. And this is John Hughes, so it's, it's, it's funny, yeah. It's interesting that the E by it, like kind of by itself leaning, I wonder what that means. Oh, John Williams movies too, okay. <laughs> Such a gorgeous house. So, <laughs> So there's a cop in their front entrance and they don't, nobody even notices? Kevin, out of the room. Hang up the phone and make me, why don't you? <laughs> oh. Hey, you I'd have been beaten black and blue if I said that to my mother. Pack my suitcase. Do you know where the shampoo is, Fuller? I don't live here. I don't believe in a I don't live here. Everyone has to do everything for you. She's right, Kev. Excuse me, pupils, I'm a lot smaller than you. I don't know how to pack a suit. I don't know that as a parent I would expect a child that young 
to be able to pack their own suitcase and know like what to bring and what not to bring. Like you're what the French call les incompetents. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you have to sleep on the hide bed with Fuller. If he has something to drink, he's gonna wet the bed. Ew. He just ate a whole load of mice guts. He should be good for a couple weeks. Couple weeks? Do they? Oh, goodness. I wouldn't let you sleep in my room if you were growing on my ass. <laughs> okay. See that garbage can full of salt? That's where he keeps his victims. <laughs> oh no. It's such a big brother thing to do, man, too. So jerky. It's very to kill a mockingbird. Oh! <laughs> How are you kids doing, huh? Good. <laughs> Why is he there and nobody's noticing? Like, that's so weird. Okay, Good lord. How many people do they have in that house that they need? What? That's like 10 pizzas. Grab yourself a napkin and you're going to have to pour your own drinks. Mom, the Santa have to go through customs. What time do you that is a good question. Fuller, go easy on the Pepsi. Oh, <laughs> That's funny. Oh, the passports? Oh, my Lord. He started it. He ate my pizza on purpose. He knows I ate sausage and olives and Look what you did, you little jerk. Dude, all these are all like horrible people. Don't worry about me. I spoke to your husband already. And don't worry about your home. Hmm. It's in good hands. Yeah, I'll bet. Dum dum. You're the only one acting up. Now get upstairs. I am upstairs, dummy. Okay, don't call your mom a dummy, because that is not the way to get out of this alive. Well, at least like somebody's gonna wake them up. Put them in the microwave to dry them off. That doesn't work. One, two, eleven, three, ninety-two, four, five, twelve. Fuzz. Idiot. You know you're the master. I hate being late for a plane. I that's happened to me before. It's so stressful. And the one time that it was late, I got to, as soon as I got to the gate, like I was so stressed getting through security and all that. And like you get through the gate and you're like, oh. Plane's delayed. I'm like, I could have taken my time. I was like running through the airport to get to the gate. And it was, I still had a half an hour. Champagne, please. Yes. It's free, isn't it? Oh, yes. <laughs> we made it. So they left like, those are they're pretty young kids to be by themselves <laughs> in coach. Believe it. <laughs> Hope we didn't forget anything. Yeah, you forgot something kind of important. He is really little. He's just like, this is just a little guy. <laughs> I do find it hard to believe that in a house of all that many people, not a single person got up before 8 a.m. Like, even with kids, kids get up before 8. I don't, but I know kids do. The cars are still here. They didn't go to the airport. And the garage doors are open? That's so... <laughs> not say you never leave your garage doors open. Especially when you're going out of town. I made my family disappear. Yeah! <laughs> I love like the, the kind of parallel of like, he thinks that he made it happen, but there is a kind of makes sense plot wise reason for why it actually happened. <laughs> it's like Kermit the Frog. Oh, jeez, there's Playboys in there. That's not good. No, we're not, no, we're not going to look at Playboys. We're a little young. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, good. He's not interested in Playboys. <laughs> that would be kind of fun. <laughs> oh, yo, we're making a mess. Okay. There's something so 90s about the sound of that tape going in and clicking into into place and starting. Too bad AC ain't in charge no more. What do you mean? Guys, I'm eating junk and watching rubbish. You better come out and stop. <laughs> watching rubbish. <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> what kind of mother am I? It makes you feel any better. 
I forgot my reading glasses. No, that's not helpful. It's got lots of top flight goods. Stereos, VCRs, toys. Probably looking at some very fine jewelry. Back when you could actually get some money for stereos and VCRs. Mm. Oh, I love that original Grinch. You're Such a great show. I'm not afraid anymore. Ah. Okay, we're a little afraid. <laughs> oh, now he's got his dirty, wet shoes in their bed. I'm calling from Paris. I have a son who's home alone, and I... Okay, okay, we'll send a policeman over to your house to check on your son. I was going to say, they probably would send someone, like, you know. Not in Minneapolis, because, you know, they're too busy to do that, but... In the suburbs, in an a high-end neighborhood like that, they probably would send someone. Don't let the tarantula out. Oh, dear. Ah! Yeah, that's why you just get a step stool, dude. And the tarantula's out. Okay. Does he have idiot mittens on? He does, he has idiot mittens. I love that. They're, those are the ones that are tied and then the string goes like through the arms and <laughs> I remember when those like kaleidoscope things were the thing. I used to work at a store called Natural Wonders and they were very, very popular then. <laughs> Okay, well, you wouldn't play hockey on a, in a, in a rink that everyone's skating on, too. That was a very Minnesotan comment of me, but oh well. <laughs> Poor guy. Okay, what are they doing with that? Are they just, like, flooding the house? That's horrible. Why would they do that? Just steal all this stuff. You don't have to destroy the house at the same time. That's sick. Hey, watch out! <laughs> yeah, that... Goodness, that's close. Sandy don't visit the funeral homes, little buddy. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, like, the, they're constructing the story really well. It's not just like, oh, the kid's home alone and they, this guy's a break in. Like, they're, they're, they were casing the neighborhood. They have a calling card. They have a plan. They have at the van, you know, like... They're encountering, he's encountering them a couple times before. Like it's, it's this construction of it is well done, which, you know, it's a John Hughes movie. So I guess I would expect nothing less than that. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Look at how young he looks, too. My gosh, I suppose 20 years ago. I am looking for my son. Do you know where he is? No, I can't find anybody at home. Okay. Nobody has the phone number of that old guy who's home? That poor statue, man. Is that... That statue is in 16 Candles as well. And I think it gets hit by a car and knocked over in that movie, too. <laughs> Never be a pain in the butt again. I promise. Good night. See, that's kind of sweet. See, that was that's kind of the part that I'm remembering is that he like really did miss his family. Are you here all by yourself? Ma'am, I'm eight years old. You think I'd be here alone? I don't think so. <laughs> oh geez. Oh, that's so expensive too to put that much in there. It's nice though he's trying to be responsible and do chores and things though. I'm going. One, two, ten. <laughs> At least he knew to like put it in something rather than just like put it on the floor and let it start the house on fire. I thought I recognized one of their voices. And I know I heard that name Snakes before. Uh oh, has he seen that movie himself? Everything's full. I'm very sorry, but it is Christmas Eve. Oh, so she didn't get to actually fly into Chicago. Where did she end up in New York? I've been from Chicago to Paris to Dallas to... Where the hell am I? 
Scranton. <laughs> Dallas to PA? Oh my goodness. No, 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 no way. This is Christmas. The is she going to have to rent a car? And I don't care. Is that John Candy coming up behind her? Oh my gosh, I had no idea who was in this. Oh, jeez. If you have to get to Chicago, we'll, we'll gladly drive you. It's on the way to Milwaukee. Is it? Uh, Milwaukee's in Wisconsin. Like, how is... I suppose you have to go south. I have to look at a map. I gotta... <laughs> we'll see if that's a good decision or not. He's just so little. <laughs> Oh, that's a great shot. I know you're not the real Santa Claus. What makes you say that? <laughs> Just out of curiosity. I'm old enough to know how it works. All right. But I also know that you work for him. It's a, a cute little subtle, like, don't give it away to the kids kind of thing. That's cute. Something. Here, pull out your little paw there. Oh, it's some Tic Tacs. There you go. <laughs> that's nice. Ah, <laughs> oh, the 90s when you could see a little eight-year-old boy walking around by himself and you just go eh, no big deal this is one of my favorite like religious like choral christmas songs i think i do like this song so it's christmas eve mass though are they <laughs> i know christmas eve mass at my church is packed like to the gills like standing room only crowd kind of thing and literal standing like there's little people we have people standing in the background <laughs> like along this outside aisles in the crowd all along the back been a good boy this year? I think so. You swear to it? No. no. <laughs> Do you get that? I think so. How you feel about your family is a complicated thing. Hmm, that's true enough. And I can't come in here tonight. Your plans? No. I'm not welcome. Oh, so it's not an actual mass that's they're rehearsing. Okay. No offense, but aren't you a little old to be afraid? <laughs> you can be a little that's old for cute. a lot of things. You're never too old to be afraid. Yeah, uh -huh. that's true. What if he won't talk to me? At least you'll know. Then you can stop worrying about it. And he won't have to be afraid anymore. That is a good point. <laughs> and the tarantula. Oh, okay, wow. Mac and cheese. That does sound good. I haven't eaten dinner yet. More macaroni and cheese dinner. And the people who sold it on sale. Amen. <laughs> and the people who sold it on sale. That's so cute. What? What happened? <laughs> Get that little <laughs> Trying not to swear so the movie can be PG. <laughs> oh, don't stick your head through there. <laughs> that is a great shot, though. I love that. That's a really big dog door because they don't really have a dog. So you think there'd be like a lock on it or something because or they could just like reach in and open the door if, if the dog door. I hope his mom doesn't come home and like fall on the steps running to the thing. Oh, oh, ow, 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 ow. Ow. Yeah, ow. <laughs> <laughs> there must be like a sheet of plexiglass on there that make it slippery. Oh! <laughs> okay, that was that was pretty good. <laughs> What's clever? <liver>? Oh. <laughs> The shoe stuck in the goo. <gasps> oh, that would hurt so bad. Oh, and it would have tar on it too. Like tar would get in the. Oh, ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. That would hurt so bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a bit slapsticky, but okay. It's like who would stand there? <laughs> Ouch. It reminds me of a particular character in the show The English. Have you seen, have you watched that? Great show, but yeah, that 
Oh, he, he must have like fake feet on. <laughs> they don't look like real feet. Oh, that was the glue. Okay. I'm not dead! <laughs> I will say he's like, he's not like destroying the house. <sighs> Ouch. Oh, that would hurt so bad. Oh my god. Mm. Apparently I have a thing with feet. It is just as much as seeing hands be injured. I got you! I got him, Harry! I got him! Oh, a convenient tarantula. Oh! <laughs> that would freak me out, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I was to say, I hope he's going to, like, a treehouse or something. <laughs> that reminds me of the scene in the Long Kiss Good Night where she throws the kid out the hole in the wall into the treehouse. Window? Yeah. Not going out the window? What, are you scared, Marv? Are you afraid? <laughs> Kinda. They're up on like the third story of a pretty tall house. Like that's up high. <laughs> Maybe go one at a time because I don't think that rope is gonna hold two grown men. So maybe cut the rope? Yeah, okay, there you go. Oh, oh, that house really was destroyed. My goodness. Oh, my God. Hanging on the door! Yeah, I was going to say, that must be the... Neighbor guy. Remember, we're the wet bandits. Yeah, don't, maybe don't confess that you're getting perp walked to the cop car. The <laughs> it is cute. Like he's, he's not like being, you know, a bratty kid anymore. He's like, he's trying to make a nice Christmas for himself, even if he is by himself. And have so he cleaned everything up. And say that was quite a job cleaning things up. I hope he scraped all the tar off of basement steps. Yeah, he was okay, you know, after six, seven weeks. And I came around and started talking again. <laughs> Merry Christmas, sweetheart. Oh, <laughs> is he going to pretend to be mad? Oh, okay. Where's everybody else? Oh, baby, they couldn't. They wanted to so much. No, I didn't fall asleep in the Oh. <laughs> it didn't take that, that much longer than her to get there. It's pretty cool that you didn't burn the place down. <laughs> oh, wait do you see your room, dude. Like, he stole your money and let your tarantula out and... What a funny guy. What else did you do while we were away? Just hung around. Mm, yeah, you don't want to know. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. There's going to be some signs of what happened, though. Oh. That's funny. Is that like the only sign left? <laughs> it's cute. Kevin! What did you do to my room? Oh, yeah, okay. So there's some other signs of what happened. Home Alone did so many things right that Jingle All the Way did so wrong. Like the, the main thing is that the majority of the slapstick stuff with the guys breaking into the house, it takes place within about 15 minutes, close to the end of the movie. If that kind of craziness had been the entire movie, it would have gone really old really fast, just like what happened in Jingle All the Way. Like where Home Alone excels, is in the buildup to that slapstick action. There was an entire hour of those guys casing the neighborhood, talking about their plans, breaking into the other house, talking about their signature move, being fooled about who was in Kevin's house and having like several interactions with Kevin beforehand and all that. That buildup is what makes the slapstick of them actually being in the house funny and clever rather than either scary for because he's such a little kid or just stupid like if it had gone on any longer than the 15 minutes than it that it did it, 
it would have been too ridiculous to enjoy. Um, you know, to the average person, that level of slapstick humor is only palatable in short doses. <laughs> and this film is smart enough to take advantage of that. I didn't remember anything about the neighbor guy and his son or the grocery shopping scene that was super cute or the church or the family in Paris being worried and the mom trying to get back home with the polka band. Like those scenes, I think, interspersed with the action of Kevin being by himself and then at first being a typical kid and then building himself a nice Christmas and doing cute, responsible things. That really helps like all of that helped to keep the emotion moving forward really well. Like the transition in Kevin from a bratty kind of bothersome eight-year-old to being a bit more grown up, but with a sly smile, like, you know, he's still going to get into plenty of trouble in the future, <laughs> but all of that's really well done. And then all of that color in those additional scenes, like help you not hate the parents too, as they kind of transition from flustered and overwhelmed and quite short tempered to really caring about like trying to get home to make sure their kid is safe. Like they left an eight-year-old by himself. Like that's not a small thing, you know? But I was right about this movie in my memory that there is some real sweetness and heart and Christmas spirit in this movie. That helps it be so much more than just a, a stupid slapstick comedy about a kid taking on two hapless robbers by himself. Like it's so much more than that. The acting is super cute. The dialogue was mostly realistic with, the, you know, a touch of over the topness that helps add to the comedy. You know, you actually root for Kevin because he's cute and he's sweet and he gets, you know, he wises up and he has funny things to say. And, you know, you root for the mom to get back home and you root for the old guy to get in touch with his son and you root for the old guy and Kevin to team up and take the robbers down. Like, so yeah. Of all the Christmas movies I've watched so far, you know, at least for the channel this year, this one is, I think, by far the best. Like, I can absolutely see why people watch this one every year. It's, this is a very cute Christmas movie. <laughs> so if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. It really does help the channel. And then click here to watch another of my reactions. Thanks for watching with me and Merry Christmas.